Six grey hairs. Six. Oh! Chuck my empties into the bin. Finally! It's so diddy! Oh, so no, I wouldn't repurchase this. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have done a few of these kind of videos before where I basically show you guys products that I've used up and tell you if I would repurchase them, which most of the time is yes, otherwise I probably wouldn't have used them up. Although there are a few exceptions and sometimes I'm just using something up because I want to sort of get rid of it and I don't want to waste it. And so there are actually a couple things in here that I wouldn't necessarily repurchase. So if you want to find out why, then just keep watching. I'm going to try and keep things short, but we all know what I'm like. This video is probably going to be about 25 minutes long. So grab a drink. I am drinking an iced coffee that's been sitting here for about an hour and the ice cubes have melted so it looks questionable. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I've got like skincare stuff in here. I've got makeup bits. I've got a couple of hair bits. Actually, maybe just like one hair bit. Oh, and I've got two perfumes as well. Before we get into this, let me know down below what is one thing that you have used up that you would absolutely 100% repurchase. The first thing that I've actually got multiple empties of, one of them, the lid is missing, but it normally looks like this. This is Dematica, which is the skincare subscription service that I use. This part of the video is sponsored by Dematica and I do have a discount code in case any of you guys want to try this for yourself because I've been using this for the past what month are we now? March, October, November, December, January, February, March. Six months. Obviously these aren't all of my empties because I did chuck some of the others away, but I actually started using Dematica back in November 2020, I think it was. I used it for three months. My skin got so incredibly clear. It was like the best my skin has ever been. I then stopped using it because I thought, oh, you know, I've got other skincare products. I don't necessarily need it. And then my skin started flaring up. I think it was like sort of September time of last year. And I did actually mention this in the last video that I did with Dematica, which I think was back in December. So I started using it again in October 2021 and we are now March 2022. So yeah, the past like six months I've been using it consistently. Obviously I'm wearing makeup right now, but I will insert some little clips of what my skin looks like with absolutely no makeup, no filters or anything. So you can get like a really good look at my skin. And a few of you guys have even commented on it recently saying that my skin is looking really good like at the start of my videos before I put my makeup on, which I mean, first of all, thank you. I've also had a few messages from you guys saying that you've tried it and you've gotten really well with it. And if you of you guys have sent me like before and after pictures of your skin which I love to see because obviously I don't want to recommend stuff to you guys that isn't going to work and of course I want to stress that everyone's skin is different and I'm not claiming that this is a miracle cure but I wouldn't recommend something to you guys if it doesn't personally work for me so you go on the website you write a little bit about your skin and put in your major skin concerns you can upload some before pictures of your skin their dermatology team will then have a look at your skin and then put together your own little personalized prescription which looks like this when it arrives in the post and then you just use it once daily at night. You use one pump of this, which covers your whole face. If your skin is particularly sensitive, you can use like a gentle basic moisturizer and then this as well or sort of use it every other day at the start as your skin sort of gets used to it and obviously I have quite sensitive skin what I found that works really well for me is sometimes I will just use it by itself and other times I will use like a gentle moisturizer and then I will use that sort of like over the top of it and the reason why it's so good is because some of the ingredients they use are prescription only so you can't just like walk down to the shops and buy those particular skincare products with those ingredients in I get a lot less spots than I used to I do still sometimes get like hormonal breakouts and stuff which are mostly sort of like around my cheeks sometimes I get like a reoccurring one on my chin which is really annoying but in general my skin is really good it's 20 pounds a month which I know for some people might be a lot of money for other people might be not a lot of money and as with anything that I recommend I'm not saying by any means that you have to get this but if any of you guys are interested I do have a discount code which is Soph does life I will put it on the screen and all the information will be down below including like links and everything you can get your first month for two pound 90 instead of 19.99 and you get your second month 10% off. That's an absolute bargain. I will now chuck my empties into the bin once I pick them up from the floor. The next skincare product that I have completely used up and oh my goodness, this has taken months. This is just the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, which is the 700 ml bottle. It says 350 uses and I think I actually had this for over a year, so they're not wrong. I've tried quite a few different micellar waters, but this one is just one of my favorites. It just really does the job of getting your makeup off. I don't always use this because sometimes I use like cleansing balms and butters and stuff. Oh, that's another thing that I used up. I used up an entire pot of the Clinique 
take the day off cleansing balm, which I really like. I think I actually mentioned that in a recent video, but I threw away the pot. But would I repurchase that? Yes, I would. Although I have found a slightly cheaper alternative, which is the e.l.f. cleansing balm that was in one of my favorites videos recently. But there's not a lot I can really say about this. And would I repurchase this? Yes, I have. And I've now got another giant bottle that will probably last me another year. The most annoying thing though, a few weeks after I bought this, I actually dropped it and I cracked the lid off. So I then couldn't take that. Well, I guess I mean, I probably wouldn't have taken this giant bottle with me anywhere anyway. But yeah, I finally used it all up. Another thing that I used up is one of the Cetaphil cleansers. This is the Gentle Skin Cleanser. It's just a very basic cleanser. And honestly, I have massively stripped back my skincare routine in the past sort of like six months. And it's actually really working for me. My skincare routine is essentially wake up in the morning, wash my face with this, put on an SPF, maybe a bit of eye cream, sometimes a bit of moisturizer if my skin is particularly dry, then do my makeup. In the evening, it will either be micellar water to remove my makeup, or if I've got heavy your makeup, then I will use a cleansing butter or balm. Wash my face with this again. I probably exfoliate my skin maybe like once a week. I used to exfoliate my skin every day and I think it destroyed my skin barrier. Actually, you know what? I'll tell you in a second the rest of it because I've used those up as well, but would I repurchase this? Absolutely, already have. Already got another one going in my bathroom, but yeah, completely used up this. If you have sensitive skin, I highly recommend it. I've spoken about it so many times. Great stuff. So like I mentioned, with my Dermatica, I will use like a gentle moisturizer. Honestly, I used to use about six or seven different products on my skin at nighttime. Now I just use two or three. So one of the other products that I've used up that I use underneath my Dermatica is this, which is the Zero Night Cream. Look at that. I've tried my best to scrape out. I mean, there's a tiny bit left like around the edges, but I can't actually get like under there. I need one of those little like scoop things. But yeah, this is the Zero Night Cream. Zero is like a very gentle sort of brand. Is that a way to describe it? And would I repurchase this? Yes, absolutely. It's quite thick, but it just really feels like it's moisturizing your skin. It's a good like thick nighttime moisturizer. It kind of leaves your skin a little bit matte actually, but it's never irritated my skin. It's just very gentle and I really like it. And then also as well, another thing that I used up. Oh, okay. A little bit just came out of this, but the zero eye cream. It says on it, 100% natural plant-based skincare. I've actually got through a few of these and I actually discovered this when my eyes were like really, really dry. Would I repurchase this? Absolutely. It just feels really nice. And sometimes I use this underneath my makeup in the mornings as well, just to like give a bit of a hydration boost to my under eyes. Evening skincare, usually just these three. But at the moment, because I've used this up, I'm using the Cetaphil night cream, which I also really like. It's kind of really similar actually, like similar kind of si consistency. So after washing my face in the morning, like I mentioned, I will use an SPF and I've got three, oh, Three different empties here. I, I've said this so many times, but SPF is so important. Even in England, believe it or not, the uh, UV rays can come through the clouds. And especially using like prescription skincare, it is so important to put SPF on your face. The first one is the Cetaphil Daily Defense Moisturizer, SPF 50 plus. Okay, it, it did actually have a little bit left in it. <laughs> Which I will now rub into my hands. Because not only does SPF sort of prevent the UV rays from aging your skin, because the number one cause of wrinkles is UV exposure. And also obviously as well, one of the major things that sun damage can cause is skin cancer. So you just wanna just protect your skin, please. The other two that I've used up are the Bondi Sands Facial SPF 50 Plus. These are actually very similar. They are both like a white, creamy consistency. You know what? All three of these are actually pretty similar, but I find all of them work nicely under makeup. Yes, they are a little bit oily. Most SPFs are, but with these ones, I don't find that they like cause my makeup to break up. They work nicely with primers. They don't like ball up and go funny because I have tried some that you try and put makeup over the top of them and they just like peel off your face almost. Yeah, so the Bondi Sands SPF 50 plus, also a really, really nice one. This actually lasted a really good amount of time because you get 75 mil in there. And then the final one is the Body Shop Skin Defense. This again is SPF 50 plus. Okay, this one feels like it's like barely got anything left in it, but it does actually have like a tiny little bit left in it, I think. They're all really good. Would repurchase all of them. Moving on to makeup bits. First off, we've got a primer and this one, I kind of, I hate to say it, but I did just kind of use this up because I didn't want it to go to waste. And I've just kind of been using this, like if I'm filming, like for example, if I'm filming a video like today, where I'm starting the video with my makeup on, or if I'm like filming a TikTok or something, or if I'm just taking some pictures. I mean, okay, that makes it sound like it's a bad primer. It's not bad, I just don't love it. And it's the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. The reason I don't love this is because it's that sort of like super smooth, silicone-y kind of feeling. And I mean, it's 
it's fine. My makeup still goes on like fine over the top of this and it is like quite a smoothing kind of primer and it looks like this. Okay, there is actually a tiny little bit left like in the dropper. It's pretty much like an empty bottle. It's just not my favorite. I wouldn't buy it again because I've got so many other primers that I prefer to this one and it's just not my favorite texture of primer. Like it's a little bit too silicone-y feeling for me. So no, I wouldn't repurchase this. Another thing that I did use up and annoyingly, I chucked it away because it was when we were away, I used up my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I was trying to like cut down on the weight of my luggage. I only had a tiny bit left in it. So I brought it with me with the intentions of not bringing it back because it's quite chunky packaging. But I obviously have opened a new one of these. It's the Laura Mercier translucent powder. One of my favorite powders ever. And you know what? This is obviously like a new one, which is pretty damn full, but it lasted me so long. And fair enough, I do, I do switch between quite a lot of powders because I've got a few in my collection, but it took a while to actually get through a full pot of this, but you do get a lot of product. And would I repurchase it? Yes, I would, absolutely, over and over again. Two mascaras that I've used up, we've got the Mascara Revolution by Revolution, obviously, <laughs> and the Maybelline Sky High, which is actually the mascara that I've got on now. Obviously not this one because this is like <laughs> pretty, dead. But yes, I do have a new one. I really love it. It's one of the best drugstore mascaras I've probably ever used. I think it's worth the hype. I really like it. This is what my lashes look like today. I wish my eyelashes were as good as they used to be. I look back on some of my old videos from when I was like 18, 19 and my eyelashes were just incredible. They're still pretty good, but I think it's something to do with getting older. And you know what guys, today when I was washing my hair, I found six gray hairs. Six. Anyway, the Mascara Revolution is also another one of my absolute all-time favorite mascaras. I would say, I think I think it's like eight pounds. This one has got a pretty chunky brush and this one gives like thicker lashes than the Maybelline Sky High does. Maybelline Sky High is like volumizing and lengthening. This one, I mean, this one also does both, but this one gives more volume. An eyeliner, this one is the Lottie London Stamp Liner. And actually, in fairness, I haven't used up the stamp side, but like the actual um, eyeliner nib of this is pretty much done. I mean, a little bit comes out. Actually, a little bit came out then. It's giving up. And would I repurchase this one? Probably not. I do like Lottie London as a brand, but this particular liner, like it's fine. It does the job, but I've just got other eyeliners that are a lot better. And I actually use this a lot around Halloween, just as like a black liner to fill in particular areas. If I was doing like some kind of Halloween look where I needed to like color in bits of black, like around my eyes and stuff. So that is why I've used this up because I was like consciously making an effort to. It's just like a classic sort of felt tip. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not like as precise or as smoothly painted on as some of my other liquid liners. So no, I probably would not repurchase this. The next makeup items that I have to show you are actually my own lip products of Revolution, which might be boring, but I just wanted to show you because I think this is quite funny. These are lip liners. Look how tiny they are. This one has actually got so small that I can't even put it in the sharpener anymore. So I think this one is done. It's so ditty. It's pretty much just the lid at this point. This one's got to go. This one, maybe I have like a couple more uses out of, but these are both my candy icing lip liners from my candy icing lip kit. And on top of that as well, the lip balm product. This one is pretty exhausted. This is actually the lip combo that I'm wearing today, by the way. So yeah, the only reason I haven't used up more of these is because I kept losing them. I just keep losing them and opening new ones, which I know is so bad, but honestly with the lip balms, I've got about five of these on the go. So whatever I purchase, I mean, yes, obviously I would. And the only reason I haven't used up the Toffee Drizzle lip kit is because again, kept losing them. I actually prefer the tinted lip balm in the Toffee Drizzle set and I prefer the lip liner in this set, but obviously I love both of them together, but I do always mix and match them. Finally, I have finally used up a full bottle of the Fenty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. Is there a tiny bit left in this where I can show you the mister? <gasps> This is the bottle. I actually really like the packaging of this, but if you have got dry skin or if you like your skin to glow, you need this spray in your life. It doesn't sort of prolong the wear of your makeup. If I was to do the wear test of this on my arm with eyeshadow, it would smudge a little bit, but it makes your makeup look so smooth and sort of melted together. In those times where your face is super matte, if I've put on loads of powder, I will just spray my face with this and it instantly just looks like it's got life in it again. And this is an absolute godsend when I have like dry patches on my skin because not only does it feel super refreshing, let's see, can I get another like couple sprays out of this? No, come on. 
okay no but the mist on this is so fine and yeah it just adds moisture it also smells really nice and fresh it doesn't irritate my skin it's just such a fine mist and it just makes you look glowy and radiant and beautiful it doesn't have any kind of shimmer in it it's just like it just adds a bit of moisture back to your face and yes i would repurchase this and then finally for the kind of like well this isn't really makeup is it it's more skincare i've got the fresh sugar advanced therapy lip balm which if you can see i've actually like started scooping out the product from the bottom of this because it's really nice. It smells ever so slightly of lemons. I have actually mentioned this on my channel before and I'm convinced like this is so similar to the Kiehl's like lip butter stick thing. Even the packaging is similar and they perform so similarly. If you like the Kiehl's one, you would like this one. Would I repurchase this? I think it's like 20 quid. So maybe not, only because I've got other lip balms that work just as well, that come in a bigger pot and will probably last me longer. I'd probably go for the Kiehl's like pot of lip balm instead. Okay, I've got two tanning things, then I've got a hair thing and then two fragrances and then we're done. This wash off tan from the body shop. It is their coconut bronze glowing wash off tan with coconut water. Please excuse the fact that my lid looks so gross. It looks disgusting, but I absolutely loved this stuff. I still love it. When my tan has gone really patchy on my neck and it's like come off my hands, I mostly use this for filming and I will just get a brush and buff it all over my neck and buff it all over my hands just so that my foundation then matches the rest of my body because most of my foundations are to match my tan shade. I really, really like it. It's not got any sort of coverage. This one is more of like a gel formula and it just gives tint rather than coverage, but I actually really like that. I don't even know if they still sell this. I hope they do because I would repurchase it. And then I finally got through a full one of my Jamie Genevieve U-Tan CBD tanning water for your face. It's a really nice tan for your face and you can like spray it all over and then buff it in with a brush. But if I do that, I then have to like scrub up my eyebrows just so that it doesn't turn my eyebrows orange. So what I actually do most of the time is I will spray this onto a buffing brush and like buff it over my face and then I wake up in the morning and I've got a nice tan on my face. I do really like it, would repurchase. And then finally, two fragrances that I used up. We've got the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. Let me see, can I get like a couple more spritzes out of this? This one to me smells very coconutty and I did really like it. I have used it up because clearly I do like it, but I'm not actually necessarily sure if I would repurchase this just because it's not my favorite perfume ever. I do really, really like it. It's almost a little bit sickly. I think that's why I maybe wouldn't repurchase this. Or would I? It is affordable. I do like it. And obviously I love Ariana Grande. If somebody was to maybe like buy me one for my birthday or something, I wouldn't want them to return it and I would still use it, but I probably wouldn't buy it again just because there's some other perfumes that I want to try and other perfumes that I do prefer over this. Has anyone tried the REM perfume or the God is a Woman perfume? Because I really want to try both of those. And this was the 30 mil, no, this was the 50 mil size. And yeah, I used it all up. But yeah, it's quite like a sweet, coconutty sort of smell. I think it's coconut anyway. I don't even know what the main notes are, but to me it smells kind of like coconut. So that is the end of that one. That one's no longer in my perfume collection. And then the other fragrance that I've used up, it's like little bits will come out, but it's like hard to get the very like last little bit, I guess because the the tube inside it is kind of curved. This was the Kiko Ray of Love In Love Scented Mist, which was from last year's Valentine's collection. And I loved this scent so much. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just sort of like sweet and sexy. And I don't know, I'm so bad at describing fragrances. It says notes of orange, jasmine, and patchouli. Delicate, soft, romantic notes. Um, Basically, I loved it. I really loved it, but it's no longer available. They will sadly be leaving my perfume collection. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention this. This is the only hair products that I'm mentioning in this video. Finally used up. No, I didn't. There's still some left. I was using this on my hair today, literally like, oh. I was using this when I was doing my hair today, like trying to get the last little bit out of it, but there's still some in there. This is the Moroccan Oil Spray and Prevent, no, Protect and Prevent Spray. Prevents color fade, UV and pollution protection. I thought for the longest time that this was a heat protectant and I was using it as a heat protectant. And then I read the back and it's not a heat protectant. It is a UV protectant. Shields against environmental aggressors, UV and pollution to help prevent oxidization and prevent protects against thermal damage. But wait, hang on, that is heat protectant, is it not? It's kind of like a leave-in conditioner with like a tiny bit of oil in it, but I really love this. And what I love this for especially is when I'm restyling my hair with my air wrap to sort of re-wet the ends of my hair, sometimes I spray this instead of using water because not only does it sort of like feel like it's conditioning my hair, it makes my hair damp again and then my air wrap, air wrap, <laughs> my air wrap. 
My air wrap works a lot better when my hair's like slightly damp. And also it smells so good. I love the smell of it. And just overall, I really like this stuff. And I would repurchase it. Although I've got quite a few different hair products that I'm yet to use up. So I probably won't repurchase this straight away. But once I've worked through the rest of my hair product, I would repurchase this. But I'm not going to for now. Just because, yeah, like I said, I've got other things that I need to use up. So like I mentioned, please let me know down below. What are some of the things that you've used up? And would you repurchase them? Would you not repurchase them? And why? Let me know. I hope this was useful. I hope it was entertaining. Thank you so much again to Dematica for sponsoring the first part of this video. And if you guys want to try their prescription skincare, my discount code is Soph Does Life. And I will also leave everything else linked down below. I hope you guys are doing really well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.